Standing by the dinosaur, Gennaro continued to play catch as he talked to Malcolm. So, how does this uh, sick dinosaur fit into your theory? It's, uh, it's predicted, Malcolm said. Gennaro shook his head. Is anything not predicted in by your theory? Look, Malcolm said, it has nothing nothing to do with me. It's, it's chaos theory, but I notice nobody is willing to listen to the consequences of the mathematics because they simply imply very large consequences for the, uh, for the human life, much larger than, you know, Heisenberg's principle or Godel's theorem, which everybody rattles on about. They are actually rather academic considerations, a philosophical considerations, but chaos theory concerns everyday life. Do you do you know why computers were first built? No, Gennaro said. Burn it in there, Lex yelled. Uh, see, computers were built in the, uh, in the late 1940s because mathematicians like John von Neumann thought if you had a computer, uh, a, a machine to handle a lot of variables simultaneously, you would be able to predict the weather. You see, weather would finally be able to fall, finally fall, to human understanding, and men believed that dream for the next 40 years. They believed that prediction was just a function of keeping track of things. If you if you knew enough, you could uh, uh, predict predict anything. That's been that's been a cherished scientific belief since Newton. And well, chaos theory throws it right out the window. It says you can never uh, predict certain phenomena at all. You can never predict the weather more than a few days away. All the money that has been spent on a long range forecasting, about half a billion dollars in the last uh, few decades, is money wasted. It's a fool's errand. It's as pointless as trying to turn lead into gold. We look back at the alchemists and laugh at what they were trying to do, but future generations will, will, uh, will laugh at us the same way. You know, we try the impossible, and uh, and spend a lot of money doing it because in fact there are great categories of phenomena that are inherently uh, inherently unpredictable. Chaos says that yes, and it's a it is astonishing how few people how few people uh, how few people care to hear it. Malcolm said, "I gave all this information to uh, to Hamill long before he broke ground on this place. You're gonna engineer a bunch of prehistoric animals and set them on an island. Fine, a lovely dream, charming." But it, but it won't go as planned. It is inherently unpredictable, just as the weather is. You told him this, Gennaro said. Yes, I, uh, I also told him where the deviations would occur. Obviously, the fitness of the animals to the environment was, uh, was one area. This stegosaur is a hundred million years old. It isn't, it isn't adapted to our world. The air is different. The solar radiation is uh, is different the land is different the insects are different the sounds are different the vegetation is different everything is different the 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 oxygen content is decreased this poor animal is like a human being at 10,000 feet altitude listen to him wheezing and the other areas well broadly speaking the ability of the park to control the uh, the spread of life forms because the history of evolution is that life escapes all barriers life breaks free life expands to new territories painfully perhaps even dangerously but life uh finds a way malcolm shook his head i don't mean to be philosophical but well there it is <laughs>